she fell in love Shiny, shiny pants and bleached blonde hair A double kick drum by the river in the summer She fell in love with the drummer Another than another, she fell in love The Rib Fest is a cookout for my sons and their sons, and the best ribs get the prize, which is a pig. <laughs> it goes back to about 1854 when the Cook Clan became a clan. And if you recall, the names back in the day were given by what trade the family was in. We were cooks. And for the first 48 years of my life, I've never had to prove my worthiness of that name. So. Ribfest gives us an opportunity to get together at the end of the year and just uh, uh, sit around and as a family to talk and just have a good time and, and celebrate what we're all trying to do. Mark on my calendar every year. One, obviously, my birthday. Um, both my parents' birthdays. Uh, other, my two sisters' birthdays, and their. My uh, sister has a daughter, so my niece's birthday. And then uh, the other very vital date on my calendar seems to be the rib cook off. The yeah. cook rib off, as I like to call it. What's so special about the rib off? Um, everything. I mean, the competition level. The. Uh, the family environment, um, the whole weekend seems to go pretty well. Is there any truth to the, to the idea that cooking ribs is a pretty good way to meet women? Absolutely. <laughs> One of the best ways, actually. How many weeks does it take for you to prepare a good rib meal? Well, from the, the day after the previous year's contest is when I start. Do you think that it goes beyond just the, uh, the pig? Oh, yes. It's the camaraderie. The family show. And they try to outdo each other with their mouths talking. One thing for sure, I'm not getting beat by a goddamn peanut butter rib and shit. Back and forth, it's just a... <laughs> do you think they get a little over competitive? Uh, some do. <laughs> yeah, I started about three days ago. 
meditating, running, you know, going for long runs. And I figured that this is sort of like Zen rip cooking. I feel a serenity today. I got up this morning and I just knew I was going to move. I mean, it, it, you know, you just get a, ser a sereneness. A serenity. I see that you've purchased yet another new grill. Do you think that that uh, honestly gives you a, a better chance this year of winning? I've learned over the years sometimes the cooking technique can hold an advantage to the competition. So, reading the biography of Bobby Flay, he started out with this grill, so I'm going to go his route and see if that works for me. What do I like in a rib? I like it to have meat on the bones, a lot of nice, tender, juicy meat. <laughs> and I like a, a spicy, sweet sauce. So you like, sounds like you like a standard, kind of American tasting rib. Yes. I'm from down south and uh, that's the way I, they fix their ribs down there and that's what I learned. When you lift them up with the tongs, they bend, I'd say, about 32 degrees. Um, and after you put them down, you really don't need a knife to cut them. You just, you're able to pull them apart from the bone. Uh, and hopefully they have a, a tint of sweetness and hickory flavor. Um. I've kind of zeroed in on at least my philosophy of what a good rib is. Um, I like my rib uh, smoked, hickory smoke, um, and I put my own dry rub on. A lot of meditating, a lot of conditioning. Um, I've been practicing for about the past month. Every weekend we've been having ribs and trying different marinades, different sauces. It all comes back to the peanuts. Hi. First year uh, was over at uh, Craig's. I think uh, Brother Jack won that. Um, second year was at my place. Uh, there was a tie uh, between myself and Jack, and we hadn't quite figured out the the, the voting as to how we were going to uh, determine a tie-breaking system because there was actually a tie. So we had the the men that participated, or the brothers that participated in the event, vote at the tie, and then Brother Jeff cast the winning vote uh, to Jack on his peanut butter rib. And then last year, Jack won it again three years in a row.